Hello, welcome to a new video of the course about GIS for municipality management. At this video, we are going to see how to work with uh, web services. There are a lot of web uh, services available, uh, published by the different uh, public administrations, so we don't need to uh, download the cartography. We can access only to the server, we can uh, load this table with these uh, layers in uh, GBC and we only uh, we don't need to download this information so we can see for example orthophotos that are uh, with uh, uh, several gigabytes of uh, of size and uh, we don't need to download this information at the previous video uh, we saw uh, the differences between the different uh, web services and now we are going to load uh, some of them so we are going to create a new view in a new project for example and we are going to change the reference system of this view to this one 277.00 if you don't have this reference system at the recent ones you can access to EPSG and by code you are going to look for 27700. We press enter and there's only one. So we press OK and we accept. We are going to look for the, re the uh, web service that we are going to load here. So in Google we are going to look for uh, data and UK. And here you can see the second the second result is data sets uh, data gov UK or from here you also can access to data and data sets and here you can look for web map service the format the resource format we're going to select web map service and the publisher will be the Scottish Government Spatial Data Infrastructure and now we are going to look for the word administrative we press enter and there are several results the second one is the local administrative units uh, level one so we are going to select this option and here we can see the web map service that it's the f that will be the first service that we are going to load in GBC. We are going to cop to copy this link, so secondary button and copy link address. And then we go to GBC. We are going to add layer. We are going to web map service. We are going to remove this URL and we are going to press Ctrl V to paste the URL that we copied from the website. We have to, to check that there isn't any space at the beginning and at the end. So here is correct and here is correct too. So we press connect we can see now the information of the web service we press next more information and here we have all the layers that we can load from this uh, web service uh, there can there can be more or less uh, one or uh, more than 40 50 60 layers in each uh, in each server it depends on the on the server so here we have about 12 layers. We are going to select local administrative units level 1. So we can double click to change uh, to move the layer here or we can select it and press add. With double click, for example, we have the layers that we are going to load in GBC. We press next. We have styles, uh, there's only one in this case for this layer, uh, we are going to keep it. We press next and this is a very important window. At the formats tab 
uh, we can see the formats of the image that we are going to load. If you rem remember at the previous video, we spoke about the web services. At the web map service, the, the origin can be vector or raster layer. We can have a parcel, a, a layer with parcels, with roads, for example, vector layers, or an earth photo uh, with uh, it's a raster. But the result, uh, it can, is, it's uh, shown always uh, as an image. So here we have to select the format of the image that will be uh, loaded. So if we have uh, vector layers, for example, polygons or lines or points, if we want to, to see the earth photo uh, under these uh, layers, for example, the parcels, if we have the lines of the, of the parcels, and we want to see an ortho photo under the, the parcels, under, under the lines, we will have to select a, a format with transparency. The formats that, allows, that allow uh, transparency are PNG and uh, GIF. And if we are selecting an ortho photo, we can select uh, the other ones, for, for example, this one. But uh, if, you, if we have a vector layer, we usually uh, select, select a format with transparency, for example, the PNG. We have to select the reference system of the view, and we are going to select, in this case, text HTML, because with this option, we can see the information of the, le of the elements of the, la of the layer if, if it has been prepared by the administrator. So we are going to press accept and it connects to the server and we are going to see the layer loaded in GBC. Here we have the, uh, the, the, the areas, the departments of uh, Scotland. So uh, we can we can see that we can change the the legend. The legend has been prepared uh, by the administrator, and we can't change the this symbology. We can apply symbology. Uh, there were uh, the another option that is the uh, information by point. If if it has been prepared by by the administrator, we can consult the information of the different polygons. We are going to try and in this case it's connecting. It depends on the connection, it depends on the server. So we can see that we have the information. Here, here it is the, the name so if we press to another polygon, we can see the different uh, the, in the information of the different polygons. It has been prepared by the administrator, so we can consult the information. Well, we are going to load a new web service, that is the web feature service. We return to the data uh, UK uh, website. We are going to remove web map service and we are going to select resource format web feature service and we are going to write cycle. After looking for we can see these results so we are going to select the, the second one five cycle network well at the web feature service option we have to copy the link to web feature service secondary button and copy link address and we are going to gbc we are going to add layer web feature service tab we are going to remove the, exist the existing one, and we are going to press Ctrl V to, to paste 
the URL, the new URL. We are going to check that there isn't any space at the beginning and at the end. So at the beginning there isn't any space. So it's correct. So we connect. We get an, a message we are going to accept. The web, web feature service is uh, uh, very... Uh, it manages uh, a lot of information. So it can take some time in connect and load the information. So we press next, uh, more information about the service. And here we have the different layers, all of them vector layers that we can load. And we are going to select cycle network. Cycle network, we press click here and we press next. Then we have the, the fields of the attribute table because it's a, a vector layer, the web feature ser service. It's a vector layer. We press next. Here we have the reference system. It has been, it has to be the same than the view. Uh, it's a very heavy uh, service, so we can uh, select the maximum number of features that it can that they can be uh, loaded. So we press next, and we also can select the area uh, that we want to load. So uh, in this case, we are going to load all the elements. We press accept. It connects to the server, and it can it can take some time because it's a very uh, the web feature service manages a lot of information and it, de it depends on the on the server, on the connection, on the computer, it depends on the different uh, parameters. So the connection on the server, uh, we are going to, to refresh and uh, while it's connecting we are going to uh, put it active and we are going to see that we can load the attribute table and the attribute table we can see the different elements and we can select here we have the the new layer and we can select elements from here we can uh, apply symbology for example I'm going to zoom to this area and I'm going to double click to change symbology by categories, unique values, the field, for example, use type, color scheme, we press add all and here we have the different uh, types. We apply. and it's connecting again. I'm going to refresh. And we will see the different type of cycles, the network. While it's loading, we are going to uh, apply a filter to we can select by attribute, for example, the elements that were a management, double click, management area is the north, double click. We press new set, and here we can see that the legend has been applied and the elements of the north have been uh, selected. We can also change the, the symbols, for example, the width of this one, and all of them in blue color have been, uh, have, uh, have more uh, size, a, big, a bigger size. Well, uh, we have two remote layers, 
from two different servers and we also can load our own uh, layers from our computer so we can add layer from file and the Scottish no from here Scottish ferry routes the shape file it's in another reference system so it's going it's going to be reprojected so we accept and we have uh, this layer too so we have uh, two remote layers and a uh, local layer so we can manage different type of, of layers of cartography of information geographical information from different uh, uh, sources well we are we have finished uh, this video and we will see in the next one see you